This is Phil Masters and on this episode we're making Kylo Ren's voice in Adobe's Premiere Pro CS6. It's going to sound something like this. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. This is Phil Masters and on this episode we're making Kylo Ren's voice in Adobe's Premiere Pro CS6. Now, first of all, as you can see on the timeline, we've got a clip there and we've got sound attached. So one thing we need to do, because we're going to do a clean record straight underneath, we need to delete that. So let's right select, select unlink, and that will unlink the video file from the sound file, as you can see, so we can select it and delete it. Excellent. So now all we need to do is do a voice recording of Kylo Ren straight underneath. So do that. All we have to do is go up to audio, make sure that audio one line is selected, select the enable track record for audio one, select the record button, and then all we have to do is do a Kylo Ren voice. So one thing you need to do is try to make it sound very similar to Adam Driver when we're making our Kylo Ren voice, so therefore it makes our job a little bit easier. So I'm going to uh, press record and do that now. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Excellent. So if I play that back, it should sound like this. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Perfect. So there's my sound recording. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go up to the effects controls and we're going to go down to the effects window and open up audio effects. And in this area here, we're going to be grabbing some of the effects and applying them onto our audio file. So I'm gonna put them all onto the audio file first of all, and then we're gonna go in there and start making the changes. So first of all, let's select bass and drop that on. Now, as you can see, it's appeared in our effects controls. And the next thing I want to add is EQ. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to find pitch shifter and drop that onto the audio file. And then I'm going to add reverb. So now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is just bring this down so I can see all the controls. I'm going to hide all the features on the presets that we've added. And we're going to select bass. But before we do, let's press the space bar and see what it sounds like so far. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Now, as you can hear, it sounds very echoey. So we're gonna make some adjustments to the features so we can get that Kylo Ren voice going. So first of all, let's go to bass and drop down boost. And in boost, I'm gonna change it so it goes up to eight decibels. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to miss equalizer for the time being. We're going to use equalizer last because there's a few things we're going to tweak to get that right sound. So the next thing we're going to do is go into pitch shifter and go to individual parameters. And for pitch, we're going to make pitch negative three. So let's bring it to negative three semitone. And then we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to open up the uh, format and we're going to turn that off by sliding it all the way to the far left. Once we've done pitch shifter, let's move into reverb and under individual parameters, we're going to go to size. So let's scroll down so we can see the slider and we're going to change that round to round about anywhere between two to three. I've got 2.49%. I'm happy with that. And we're gonna hide that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some playing around now with the settings in Equalize. Now, the reason we're gonna play around with these is because my voice is gonna be different to your voice. Your voice may be higher pitch, maybe even deeper than mine. And because of that reason, we're going to make some amendments or modify these or custom settings to our own individual pitches. So before we do that, let's go over here to the preset 
and I'm going to select 1940. And then I'm going to come to custom setup and I'm just going to open up this window now so I can see all the settings. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of knobs here that you can play around with, obviously, to adjust the settings on it. We're only going to use the top five, though. So I'm just going to slide this up so we can just see the top five. Might even just scroll this up a little. Excellent. Now, before we go any further, I'm just going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to press play and we're going to listen to that. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Now, that's a good start. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and we're going to make some adjustments up here. And we're going to start with the right hand side, first of all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the timeline all the way back to the beginning. Then I'm going to uh, play the clip and I'm going to make those finer adjustments. So let's first of all make that change to the right hand side. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. I'm just going to do that again. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, so I'm going to leave that at 6,737 hertz. I'm going to go to the far left-hand side now, do the same, and make that adjustment. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, so I'm going to set that at 50 hertz and go all the way back to the beginning again. Now I'm going to move up to mid one and just going to repeat the process. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, frequency as 152 hertz and we'll go back to the beginning again and now move to mid two. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave that at 1,274 Hertz. And finally, let's make an adjustment to mid three. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, so I might leave that at 1,282 hertz. So this should be the end product. It sounds like this. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Okay, and let's have a look at the uh, trailer and see what it actually sounds like. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. And that's how you do Kylo Ren's voice in Adobe's Premiere Pro CS6. I bet you didn't know you could do that in the editing suite. Now, if you want to become a film master so it's pretty simple have to do subscribe to the channel like us on facebook and or on twitter and until next time don't just film it master it